when you're, you're a young guy trying to find your minutes, trying to find who you are in this league. Opportunities aren't always given. A lot of times they're earned. And Johnny, Danny, Corey, these guys all earned them, you know, and they took advantage of the ones that they were given. Don't do it, Turbo. Ah, Corey Kispert. not easy for a young guy to come in and show everything that you're capable of right away. But Johnny, yeah, when he was given the opportunity, he took it and he was ready. Cherry Blossom ain't the only one blooming. Johnny Davis <laughs> is not only blooming, but he's booming. Starting from where he started out in the year, you can see him like, you know, struggling a little bit, spending time in G League and coming back up. Looked like a totally different player. Different. Xavier tipped the pass and the ball came to me. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And Drew Holiday just keep backing up. He's known for being one of the best defensive guards in the league. So in my mind, I'm thinking there's either two things I can do go down. I'm gonna try to dunk it and he's gonna follow me, or I'm gonna try to dunk it and I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna dunk on him. And I couldn't even see the rim when I dunked the ball because I got hit in the face, but I could feel the ball go through the net. I turned around and looked at everybody. I seen the bench standing up. I was like, oh yeah, I just did that. Johnny Davis. He got so much bash from people on social media, but you know, he stayed with it. Showing the world now, like, yeah, like, this is me, I'm Johnny Davis. I can play at a high level. Davis for three. Johnny Davis. Yeah, the confidence is brewing. A guy like Johnny, I just love his confidence. I love where he's start of the year and uh, where he's finished. He finished his season very, really strong. Coming to the season, you know, young guys, they kind of have a, a specific role you have to play and it's kind of hard to get outside of that role. This year we had a lot of guys that were injured and they were able to show more of what they can do. It's obvious. It looks like turbo to me. Right, guys stepping up when they had their opportunity and looking like totally different basketball players. Denny had an awesome year, his growth, his confidence, and I think he just constantly got better for us. You see, he earned himself a nickname. Oh, that's Anya, who left Plaxton. No, that's Turbo. <laughs> Denny, you know, showed great flashes through games, got a nickname Turbo. Interception there by Avia. He's all alone, getting the layup to go in. And to see Denny, like, really show what he can do at this level and really be the player that he know he can be, it was a great thing to see, and I loved it. Obvia, downhill. You know what he wants to oh do. Can he burn rubber again? Yeah, yeah, turbo, yeah. Obvia. <laughs> turn see, up, I, Turbo. Yeah, you got everybody doing it, Dan. Benny has grown mentally, and, and he has gotten better at his game and, and understanding his own game, taking notes, watching film, doing all the things that he needs to do to get better. Upstairs to the landlord from Denny. And my elevation became for my confidence being more aggressive, being more mature, understanding the game better. Yeah, I'm the away. As the shot clock expires. With Denny, everything is about confidence um, and mindset. Avia, air nine, take it off. He had a stretch of more games this year than last year where he put together good games, and I think he can build on that. Once he realizes how special he can be, he's going to be really good. Being a rookie is something that I won't miss. For me, it was like I was in a dark room in the middle of the night trying to find the light switch. I was like going around and kind of just lost a little bit. And all of a sudden, year two, the lights are on. Oh, Corey Kispert hit that one from Clarksburg. Corey been shooting the heck out the ball, balling and um, touching new heights as a second year player. Kispert again for three. Man, this guy's in his bag. He's getting warm. Against Orlando, we were starting to lose players out of our lineup, and my role changed and be able to play with that freedom felt really, really good, and it led to me being in a really good spot mentally. Eight threes for Corey Kispert, are you kidding? He has the confidence right now to let it fly, and you gotta love to see it. When you're feeling that comfort and you're feeling that rhythm, the hoop just gets a little bit bigger and shots just start to fall. Nine of 14, all from the three-point line. I shoot with Corey every day. We used to always talk about shooting 10 to 23s in a game. 
now he's doing it. And now he's doing it confidently. And not only that, he's making them. Kispert with a step back jumper, nice. Right, listen. Corey Kispert is in his bag, CM. Kispert, free and clear for takeoff. 29 right, for Corey Kispert, which is a career high now. It's like you're, you know, it's like you're a kid Thanksgiving and you finally get to sit at the big, the, the, the big table, right? A lot of what this year was for me and Denny especially was proving that we can play at a really high level with everybody in the NBA. As a player, knowing that you can really make an impact here in this league and on this team, you feel great. And if called upon, I know that I have what it takes to do it. This is only the beginning for all three of those guys, and they're just starting to understand how to be better and how to play better, and I'm excited for the future. I think this group has a lot of potential. I think we really can do great things together, and, you know, as everybody gets better, like, we can be really good. Because you see it every year. You see a team or a few players who, you know, you felt like they were raw a year or two before, and next thing you know, they're an all-star. Next thing you know, you know, they're developing into their own. And so I'm very curious to see what our guys can do.